We are often asked how to secure larger random shaped or pre-painted cutouts to the cutting table for scribing, and this is a method that we have found that works very well. In many cases, you can scribe first and then plasma cut the outer shape, but in this example, the part needed to be pre-cut and painted prior to scribing, and the large size of this piece prevents us from holding it in a vise. First, you will need a heavy piece of steel for a base plate. It doesn't matter how large or how thick the piece is. The important thing is that it is larger than the part you are trying to hold and that it is heavy enough that it does not move around on top of the cutting deck when scribing. Next, you will need some rare earth magnets, which are commonly available. In this example, we're using magnets that are approximately one inch in diameter. Arrange the magnets on the back of your cutout around the perimeter in three or more positions and stick your part to the heavy base plate, being careful not to pinch your fingers. Use your best judgment in getting the piece orientated on the base in the same position as it would have been when you plasma cut it. This next step is used to get your scribe on the path to follow the outside perimeter of your cutout so your scribe lines end up where they're supposed to be. To do this, we load the same DXF file we used to cut this piece, and with the Easy Scriber installed in the torch, we will keep an eye on the scribe tip and run the program while pausing from time to time to make adjustments to the torch position or the position of the piece on the base plate. After this, running this program a couple of times and making adjustments, you should have the torch positioned properly. The final step is to create the DXF file for the interior scribe lines using the same XY zero point used in the previous step to be sure all your scribe lines are positioned properly inside your part.